what's going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 24 ultimate team video in today's video we got early reveals for part two of the harvest promo which is dropping tomorrow afternoon and on friday we're getting team diamonds we're going to show you all 34 of those cards a lot of reveals to go over now a couple things to note real quick before we do so the cover athlete promo which came out this past monday that promo will be dropping every sunday morning now at about 10 30 a.m eastern time and we're actually getting a new promo on mondays called mix up monday which to me sounds like weekly wild card wild card wednesday so it's probably going to be a variation of different promos inside that promo but it's more content at the end of the day especially as we are approaching zero chill season so it's good to see to see us having sunday and monday content just wanted to throw that out there let's go over the cards and we're going to go ahead and press the wrong button now let's go over the cards we're going to start with the 89 overall harvest cards there's a ton of them one other thing and i'm not going to break these down because we have so many cards to go over in this video but one thing that i want to know as we go through these cards and by the way we got a syracuse legend the first of many to go andre cisco there's currently a 89 overall bnd uh, fantasy pack from the harvest promo where you're going to be able to pick a 89 of your choice i haven't really studied the attributes on these but if you have that pack whatever you do do not open it up because it should likely update with all of these new 89s that we're scrolling through so we will absolutely be doing an updated video on the best 89 to take from that fantasy pack and that's just the b and d one at the end of the harvest field pass which should be obtainable by tomorrow when this content drops at the end of that one you also get a non b and d 89 and the champions for this promo are 92s confirmed so if you have five 89s in your possession you already have one of these pre-built and you do get one of those 89s and it doesn't have to be harvest cards but you happen to get an 89 overall harvest hero card at the end of the field pass so the first one we knew was coming but it's good to see it's not an ltd and real quick that reminds me of one other thing we're getting 91 overall redux cards tomorrow for all my eagles fans out there brian dawkins who's been super expensive reggie white as well michael irvin for cowboy fans a bunch of those really expensive 91 ltds getting reduxes back to joey porter jr so i'm happy to see he didn't get an ltd like his first card because his first card his 88 overall card was really really good this one will definitely be on my no money spent squad 92 speed 93 man coverage eagles legend mac hollins gets a card i don't know why he always gets really good muck cards i shouldn't say always but he has i think two or three times now but hey listen as an eagle fan he's like 6'4 i believe and we're gonna get him to 93 speed this one's a w for me for sure robert hunt right guard always good to have offensive linemen i would have preferred maybe some better 89 overall offensive linemen but overall i mean you know given the the lack of and given that it's it's a boring position throw that to the side it's a really good card but it is a right guard we have jeremy chin his cards are always very good in mutt 92 speed i wish that man coverage is a little bit higher but 92 speed 89 man 93 zone hit power not very good but he's a ball hawk he's got good height to him usually a pretty good user as well i'll definitely be picking that card up tomorrow another eagles legend another wide receiver and chris carter this is the first of two ltds you know, seeing Matt Collins be 92 speed and seeing Chris Carter be 91 was a little bit of a throw off, but yet another Eagle Steam Team card that gets an LTD, so add that one to the list. This is the one that I think a lot of people are going to like, though. Deion Sanders, 93 speed. But the most important thing here is that 92 press. They always give Dion really bad press on his cards. 93 speed, 92 man, 92 press. He's six foot even. This card is absolutely cracked. And unfortunately, it's going to be very expensive. Probably close, if not over a million coins because it's an LTD. Now we're going to jump right over to Team Diamonds. I, I will tell you, before we go through all of these cards... You know, Elshon Jeffrey, another Eagles legend here, by the way. Um, I, you know, I love to see some of the names. What I don't like about these cards, and again, I'm just going to skim through them. You can take notes on your end. I'll, I'll briefly talk about them because I didn't really get a chance to, you know, break down all the attributes. And we will definitely do a video on, remember, this content comes out on Friday. Julius Thomas, mutt throwback legend right here. Glad to see him back in the game. But remember, this content comes out on Friday, so we will absolutely do a video on the best team diamonds we'll break all of them down we will show you an example of what you need for the set requirements in a moment but the one thing and i tweeted this out that i hate about these team diamonds and you are all probably noticing the same thing 
I feel like they nerfed the speed on these cards purposely because they know people are going to have them on a 25 or 50 of 50 theme team, which is ultimately going to boost the speed. So they don't make the cards fast because they know with that plus two speed, they're going to be faster and that's, you know, it's going to make cards better and, and they're not getting you to open packs. So I always hate that about like team builders, team diamonds, etc., team affinity content that they nerf the speed on these cards. Um, again, some exciting names as we move along here, like it started getting a little boring. Early on, it was good. Troy Vincent, only 91 speed. Like I'm mad about that one there. There were, there were some names I've never heard of before, but as we kind of moved through the list, it started getting a little bit like slower and slower, but add this one to the Syracuse legend list, Donovan Darius. Man, I, I remember watching him play in college. You guys don't care, but happy to see him in the game as, as you know, a Syracuse fan. But yeah, I would say the feedback I've been seeing on Twitter, and you guys can definitely leave your comments down below in the comments section. Um, the feedback I've been seeing on Twitter is a lot of people think that the team diamonds are a bit boring. I would have to agree. Julius Peppers looks like a solid card there. Uh, this confirms he's going to be in the game again, which means we can probably get or will get a free safety or strong safety card of him, which, you know, is one of the best cards in the game last year. This one made zero sense. Lincoln Kennedy just recently got a legend card at 90 OVR. There's a million players in the world that get Raiders chem, and they couldn't think of any other one other than Lincoln Kennedy. So that one kind of cracks me up. By the way, we are approaching the end here. We have two Team Diamond Chiefs champions this time around one on offense one on defense and we will also show you the set requirements because these can be very expensive and we're looking at by the way Le'Veon Bell back in the game kind of fire there but I'm looking at these cards we're looking at the attributes together like an 84 speed Mario Williams with 83 finesse move what are we doing here on a 92 card that's a pass rusher um th the thing is these cards Syracuse legend Keith Bullock another W these cards are going to be expensive because the set by nature are going to be expensive but when I look at them like these cards aren't any better than the 92 overall harvest cards that we're gonna be getting now one of the big draws here that I failed to mention is these players can potentially get like times three chem of that team so I'll just use Troy Vincent for an example he gets times two Eagles chem now that second bucket he's gonna get any team chem he played for and the Eagles are in that second bucket so he can get times three chem if you put the original team that they played for on there in that second bucket uh, but the other thing is is that you can you know maybe work towards another hybrid theme team there here are the set requirements though we can't see everything in it um, for the Fran Tarkinen card you need 25 items right and it's basically a combination of a bunch of NFC North player so it's no longer I would say team specific in this sense and that's really how a lot of people prepped for this promo in years past now it's division uh, specific and also notice that they sorted this downward which we all know when we log into the game it's not going to look this way so they purposely did it they're only showing us the really inexpensive cards we don't know the actual expensive cards are going to be in the set and I think they purposely did it. So here we go. Team Diamond Champion number one, TJ Watt. Sorry, JJ Watt. But I saw somebody, I think it was my guy Squad Man said, damn, JJ Watt got an upgrade before TJ Watt. That's crazy. Really, 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 really good looking card. But here's my thing. Pass Rush is kind of trash this year. He does get some abilities and, and you know, we'll talk about that later. But a defensive end is not an exciting position, and it's a position that is just not dominating this year in the game to collect 32 tokens or whatever you're going to need here. And here's a, you know, a picture to collect 32 unique team diamond tokens uh, to get this defensive end, which has good attributes, but probably isn't going to perform on the field. Just doesn't feel like it's worth it, in my opinion. The second team diamond champion, really cool name, actually a pretty good card with the 95 speed bit disappointing to see 88 trucking on a 96 overall card like we jumped up to a really high overall all in all pretty good card nothing crazy out of this world Todd Gurley dope to see him back in the game as well but you know I say it again and to get in in his set's gonna look like this I'm assuming if you want both of them you're gonna have to do all team diamond sets two different times let me go back do we see yeah it does say repeatable up there so you know if you want to get both of these players, you're going to have to do 64. I knew that because I'm good at math. 64 team diamond sets. Not a fan at all. 
I personally, unless you have millions and millions and millions of coins, and you probably know what you're doing if you do in this game, there's no reason to go after these cards right away. They're just not that good. I would focus on whatever theme team you got and, and work that way. Uh, and in the long run, I think by the time these cards are worth going after, we're going to have regular cards out that are probably going to be just as good. So I'm not going to go after these cards at all. Let me know what you think. I hold the position. Harvest 2 Fire, much better than Team Diamonds. Thank you for watching. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.